What's been the reaction from the group about uh, the performance on the weekend? Uh, yeah, it's been obviously very disappointing, mate, this week, and the reviews haven't been um, as good as we'd like. And, you know, we, the biggest thing about it is we let Bunga down in his 300th game, which is... Um, which is not good enough. So we're reviewed in depth and um, like we usually do. So we'll get better, but uh, you know we got another opportunity this week. It's becoming a, a trend. These sorts of games that you've had throughout the year, with both the both games in Geelong and a couple of losses here as well, along with that Collingwood one. Effort has been one of the the, the the trends that has been mentioned during that. Can you explain how effort can wane so much? Yeah, I don't think it's a lack of effort. Everybody goes out there and tries their very best week in, week out. I think it's probably more a lack of energy, um, you know, in offence and in defence. So I don't think it's effort. I think it's the energy that um, we can really lift at the moment. How, how do you improve that then? Oh, you just got to do it with each other. You got to lean off each other. You've got to be prepared to turn up on game day and run. I think that was a major issue from our game on the weekend was not having the energy to run. So we've got to train that. We've got to, you know, do everything we can to make sure that on game day we have that um, energy there, you know, especially with no crowds and what's going on, um, you know, that there's no excuses. Is the team fatigued or is it the lack of atmosphere potentially that, that, it, that is making it harder for you guys to, to get yourselves up? Oh, you de- week in, week out, you've got to bring your own energy personally and then you've got to bring that energy to the group. And, you know, sometimes that can be hard to do week in, week out and you can't do that all the time. Recording but in we've, um, yeah, so we've got to, um, you know, it's a, a, energy is something which you can train on the training track and, you know, it's a mindset thing to rock up on game day with. We've talked, there's been a lot of talk about how the selection will go. Is, is the group feeling comfortable like you've obviously won a flag and haven't, hasn't been a lot of changes simo has been very um strong with, with sticking with the same guys is it a lot of comfort levels within the team or are blokes starting to feel on edge oh, i wouldn't say it's comfort i think you know everyone sort of knows that there are only a couple bad games off getting dropped it's a pretty ruthless industry but you know what they do in match committee uh, has nothing to do with the players you know all the players can do is go out train as hard as they can play as well as they can and match committee will take care of itself so um, in terms of selection and getting dropped there's no um, angst amongst the boys or anything like that the boys are just trying to continually get the best out of themselves and that'll take care of itself Hey Dom, it's Justin here. Um, you mentioned earlier that you guys felt you let Hearn down. Did, did you guys go up to him after the match or, or since then just to say sorry or, or anything like that? Yeah, I, I personally did, mate. I'm not sure about the other boys, but um, yeah, no, it was it was very disappointing to do that in his 300th ma- match. Um, you know, he's been such a great player for us and to do that, you, we know that it, it's hard to try any harder than what you do week in, week in, week out. You try as hard as you can, no matter what. And um, you couldn't try any harder just because it's a 300th game, you know. You're week in, week out, you're constantly trying to do your best. So, But the fact we dished up that was just not good enough. And, yeah, we let him down massively. And then what was his reaction? Uh, he, he's all good with it. I think all he wants, all he's chasing his team success. So he gets disappointed we lost. I don't think he really cares the fact that it was a milestone match for him because everyone knows how team orientated he is. All he wants to do is win games of footy. So the fact we didn't win, disappointed like everyone else. And on paper, it looks like the team still has all the talent there to, to succeed. What must have been like for you as a player knowing that it seems like the pieces are there, but it's just not working out for whatever reason? Yeah, it can be frustrating at times knowing that on paper we've got a very good list. So the fact that it's not all gelling together um, like we'd hope for, um, you know, it, it can be frustrating, but we're working through those things. And, you know, at the same time, as doom and gloom as it is, we're still sitting seventh on the ladder. So there's 11 teams in the competition who want to be where we are. So we've got three more games le- left in the year and hopefully we can qualify for finals and do some damage there. But, you know, it's going to be a tough one against Melbourne this week. You think we should win this week? Sorry, what's that, mate? I just want to ask, do you think Shu is there any chance to return this week? Uh, I'm not sure, mate. Uh, I'm really not sure um, where he's at in his program. But, yeah, he'll be available at some point before the season's end, I'm sure. Yeah, thanks, Dom.
next night. Oh. Dom, there's probably been a little bit of conjecture about the leaders of the club with Shuey missing a lot of footy. Um, he's still got great years ahead of him, but who who do you think is the next captain of the footy club? Is it is it an older guy like Glove or, or, or Nick Nat? Um, or could it be a younger guy like Oscar Allen or, or Liam Duggett ready to take up the mantle in a year or two? Oh, I'm really not sure, mate. I haven't thought about that at all. So you're probably asking the wrong guy. But, you know, at the moment, Luke Shuey is a great leader and, you know, he's got a few more years of footy left in him before he finishes up. And, you know, after that, whether they go with a younger bloke or an older bloke, um, you know, we, we don't look into that, mate. But we've got a lot of... All we know, we've got a lot of great leaders um, at the footy club who can step up to that role um, if it's their turn. Do you, do you have any leadership ambitions yourself? Um, oh, I just, you know, I try to be authentic in the way I go about it and, you know, I don't certainly, I don't push for leadership status or anything like that. I want to be a leader in my own right and that, that starts with training hard and playing to the best of my ability to contribute to the team. So, you know, if leadership rules come with that, then so be it, but it's not going to change the way I go about it. You have some um, younger guys floating through the middle this year, which is... Great to see you know, the likes of, of Liam Duggan getting a little bit of exposure, Connor West, um, Xavier O'Neill as well. Uh, have you enjoyed playing with those guys? Um, where do you see the midfield heading in a, in a few years' time? Yeah, no, it's exciting to see those blokes come through. You know, Xavier's played a fair few games this year and, you know, the inclusion of Connor West who just um, applies so much pressure and he's just so good to... He's just one of those players you want to play with. So, you know, it's been exciting. Lukey Edwards, you know, in a few years, I think our midfield's um, going to really stand up against the best. So, um, you know, they're still young. They've got a lot of developing to do. But, yeah, the future looks bright. Tommy, uh, could I just jump in? Uh, some of the experts have described your performance on the weekend as <laughs> insipid, putrid, embarrassing. Uh, players are happy just to take the paycheck, not put in a big effort. What's your response to that? Is that a little brutal or did that sum up the performance on the weekend? Yeah, look, I think it probably on the weekend it looked like there was a lack of effort there. But I'll say again, I think it was a lack of energy to... To, to really run in offence and defence. So, you know, we don't read those headlines and what people are saying and, um, you know, we try to stay in that balanced wave of when things are good, don't get too up and when things are down, don't get too down. So the great thing about footy is we've got another opportunity next week and, um, you know, another three games in the season to go. So we're working on some things which we want to improve, um, you know, and that starts probably with our defence and... We really struggled with their transition on the weekend, so that's something that we'll really focus on this week, mate. So should the Ds be a little wary of an angry bunch of eagles going out on Monday night? Oh, I, I wouldn't say an angry bunch of um, eagles, but, you know, like I said, um, we want to be consistent in the way we play and... Yeah, you know, our numbers on the weekend weren't too bad. We had more inside 50s than the opposition. Um, you know, we won the clearances, so we still did things right. It was just our inability to sort of defend those entries and when they had the footy. Is it disappointing when your CEO puts out a statement back in your form? Sorry, what's that, mate? What's that, Alex? Sorry, is it disappointing when your CEO puts out a statement to back your form? Is it a disappointing place to find yourselves in? Yeah, I mean, uh, our, um, you know, CEO and fans, supporters, family has every reason to be disappointed in the way we played on the weekend. And we're, ab above everyone, we're the most disappointed, that the fact that we dished that up. So, you know, e everyone from the top down has every reason to be disappointed in the way we went about it. Have you still got the belief, Dom, from where you've, you've come from as a club? Do you still believe that you can get back to those levels? Yeah, I think there's definitely still belief within the playing group. We know that at our best, um, we, we can match it with the best. But at the moment, we're not producing that for long enough on game day. So we're having lapses in games. And if we can just take those out of our game, then, yeah, we believe that we, we could really um, push this year for to do really well. But... At the moment, we're not doing that, so we're trying to do our best to work on it. But, you know, the belief is there, but right now the evidence probably isn't. 
And just the, the stage of the season that you're at, are you feeling as a, a club and as a, a group of players a, a sense of urgency now? Uh, With three rounds left to, to get. Yeah, three rounds left to go. We're seventh on the ladder. Um, you know, we just want to win um, as many of those last three games as we can and try qualify for finals. And, you know, as we know, all you need to do is get to finals and then anything can happen. So hopefully we can build some form over the next few weeks, starting with Melbourne this week, which will be um, a good test for us in front of our home crowd. Uh, Dommy, I'll jump in there. Uh, are you confident that uh, whether it's the players or the coach that you can turn around this sort of performance in the next week or so and uh, give yourself a, still a tilt at maybe not just get bowing out in the first week of the finals? And, and is the coach sort of, have you noticed something different with him in the last 24 hours or so to see that he's going to change things up a little bit as well? Um, oh, he's been pretty consistent um, throughout the whole season with the way that he's reviewed the game and approached the players about it. So, yeah, he hasn't changed an awful lot. We're tweaking a few things, with, which is, um, you know, the way we want to move the ball, the way we want to defend. And, yeah, we're constantly tweaking things, but he stays pretty consistent with his, um, with his attitude towards reviewing games and going forward. But I, the players are confident that we can play at our best. It's just about doing it for a full four quarters now.